Hello, uh, Bicon Cycle Click followers. My name is Aram. I'm the engineer behind the product. Uh, a quick update on state of the things here. First of all, thank you very much for subscribing and pre ordering the device, the Cycle Click. Really appreciate your help. Your help and feedback are vital for this project. So, thank you very much. Secondly, I wanted to share some update. In the course of development of uh, Cycle Click, uh, this, this, this is one of the first prototypes which you have seen. We have improved it uh, a lot. You can see it has a lot of plastic parts. The ridges are made of plastic. Now uh, the things are different. This is the latest prototype. You can see that it's basically all metal construction um, and it's much smaller. You can see the comparison, how it compares. It's much smaller, much lighter, it's twice uh, as light as this one, it's about 40 gram. I think it's 1.4 ounce. Um, it, it, it works much better, it's sturdier, much more reliable and so on. Uh, we moved this roller, it was here, we moved it to the middle. One of the reasons this roller is made of special rubber, it's very flexible. So when the chain enters the measuring channel, the roller uh, retains the, the chain in place. So in order to remove the device, you have to make some uh, sliding motion, then it comes off. So many of you commented uh, that maybe it's easy to, for the device to come off of the chain. It's not. <clears throat> there is something to be has to be done in order to remove the device. Uh, many of you have express, expressed concern about uh, cycle good performance in dirt, in mud, uh, and we want to show you some of the tests which we, we've done with uh, uh, with uh, cycle click. I understand it's not a, a full-blown mud test as it's supposed to be It's it's going to come because we are going to send the device to our beta testers They will be testing it in, in, in much more um, <clears throat> Realistic conditions, but this test comes to answer some of the questions uh, which we received So here we are putting uh, mud on the chain can see we will put some mud on the chain and now we will see how the device behave behaves in the muddy conditions So uh, you saw the mud test performance. What happens in, in, in reality is that the chain, since the chain doesn't touch the side of the channel, uh, it touches only top and bottom of the channel. The device shaves off the mud, which comes on top and bottom of the rollers and doesn't touch all, all other parts of the chain, the rest of the mud. So that's why it performs well in muddy conditions. Um, there are some other design features which allow for the device to perform well in muddy conditions. Uh, so overall, it does not afraid of mud. Uh, if you want to support the project and you haven't yet pre-ordered the device, you can click, click on the link below. To lock up the price, you can leave $2 deposit. Uh, it's going to be the lowest possible price and once we launch crowdfunding campaign you will be able to uh, purchase the device at that locked uh, lowest possible price. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, please ask them, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to answer um, uh, to as many comments as we can. Thank you very much. See you soon.